So there is a native version of Phragmites, but this is a, quite a different one. Uh, you can see at the top of them, they've got these uh, huge broom-like flowering parts. Uh, it grows up to five meters tall. In addition to that, in the spring and summer, you're going to see it as sort of a bluey green kind of color on these leaves here. Um, that'll change in uh, the late fall and winter when it turns to a more beige color. When we're getting rid of Phragmite, we always want to make sure that uh, we've got protective gloves on. Sometimes if we're in more sort of swamp-like areas to get rid of the Phragmite, uh, rain boots are a good idea. So ideally you'd want to get rid of Phragmite um, before it starts to seed. Um, it starts to seed usually between July and September, so any time before that uh, is ideal. Uh, and that's in order to uh, stop it from seeding into new areas of the park and so that we can sort of isolate the population that we're working with. So when we remove Phragmite, we want to make sure that the seed head, if it's already out, uh, is removed properly and disposed of uh, and then put it right into a bag. You don't want to spread that seed at all. Uh, it can really become disastrous. Uh, once that's done, uh, you can take the uh, stalk of the Phragmite out by cutting right near the bottom of, of the plant and we'll remove that from the area as well. If you have any questions about this or you're still not sure exactly what you're looking at, please feel free to come on out. We invite you to come out to Riverwood and experience some of our stewardship programs or check us out on www.theriverwoodconservancy.org.